Hi, and welcome to Con Expo 2020. I'm Maura Pluff, and I'm here with John Torpy, President and General Manager at Epi Rock USA. Welcome, John. Thanks, Moira. Thanks for joining me today. My pleasure. I'd like to know from you, what is Sixth Sense? So Sixth Sense is the Epi Rock umbrella name for our automation and digitalization solutions. Mm -hmm. So we take all those solutions that we have offered and we put them into Sixth Sense, and that's how we collaborate with our customers to bring them the solutions and help to support them in their digital and automation journey. So we take all of that and we put it under one umbrella that's called Sixth Sense. John, how do customers activate their Sixth Sense? Moira, so Sixth Sense is about helping our customers to work smarter, safer, and more seamlessly in their operation. A lot of our equipment is already delivered with some level of automation. We have a lot of tools that are available around digitalization and data management. So for a lot of our customers, they can activate what they already have if they haven't done that. Otherwise, if they want more information, they can certainly call one of our team of automation and digital specialists that we have all over the world that really are there to help customers with this Sixth Sense journey. And so we have that team in place. We have people ready and able to help them when they're ready to do that. Awesome. I'm here with Heino Hammond, product line manager for Blast Hole Rigs at Epirac. Hey, Heino. Hey, Maura. How are you? I'm great, but can you tell me, does the DM32 single pass have a sixth sense? Absolutely, Mora. The DM32 and the DM series do have a sixth sense. Through RCS Light Basic, RCS Light Connected, and RCS Light Navigation. RCS Light Basic provides you with a screen in the cab, real-time production monitoring, safety interlocks, and auto leveling. RCS Light Navigation provides you with a wireless connection so that you can connect with a machine through Surface Manager, and remote um, access to help support the machine. On top of that, RCS Lite navigation gives you high precision GPS and geofence capability. So yes, the DM series machine surely does have a six sense. Awesome, thank you. You're welcome. I'm here with Sean Cheney, business line manager of Rock Drilling Tools. Welcome, Sean. Good morning, Maura. Thanks for joining me today. Absolutely, glad to be here. I'm hearing a lot about the rock drilling tools, designing products with automation in mind. Can you dig into that for me? It's a real simple philosophy. It's make every minute, every hour count. Make sure that we get the most production out of a drill per day, per shift. Simple as that. So really, customers are investing a million dollars or more in some drills. They're putting automation on it so they can change steel automatically, so they can move hole to hole, so they can set up and level automatically, all because they want the drill to be more productive. So we want to do the same thing with the tools. The last thing we want is for the tooling to disrupt production. How do you do that? Well, I mean, we use higher quality metal in the drill bits, for example, higher grade carbides, et cetera. And this sometimes comes with a little sticker shock because the bits are more expensive higher quality is more expensive, but when a customer looks at it from a cost per foot perspective, it's actually gonna cost less, and it takes advantage of, makes the best of the capabilities to keep running, keep drilling that the drills have today. Sean, I also heard intelligent tooling being thrown around. What, um, what is that? So intelligent tooling is very simple. We now put a chip inside of the various components of the drill string. There's a reader on the drill. The drill can understand what that bit is. It can set parameters in the rig control system accordingly. Change rotation, change pull down, et cetera, so that the productivity is optimized with the tooling. Thank you, Sean. You're welcome. Just keep drilling. To see the latest developments from Epiroc, please stop by our booth in Central Hall C20405.